Welcome to today's video. Now previously I did a little bit of a pricing update slash car yard video. We went to GTNet and you guys loved it to kind of like see what the market was doing here in Japan. So I figured we'd go to another really popular kind of sports car dealership here in Japan. And this one is called Manabun. Now we have been here before and they have some very unique cars here. This is kind of what I would say a car enthusiast when they want to buy like a Supra or a Skyline. This is probably the type of place you would go to to buy it because not only do they have super unique ones like there's a there's a Le Mans replica 33 back here um, but that aside like really heavily modified cars but not like cheaply done properly done lots of expensive brand name parts so let's go have a look at what they have for sale and what they have in their yard I think you guys are really gonna like it before we check out the car yard I figured we'd have a little look at the little car park they have here where they do some car storage um, I'm not sure if these are customers cars or they're staff cars but there's no like for sale signs in them and stuff and uh, they all have registrations and plates so most likely staff cars or they're just storing them but we got a couple beautiful 33 GTRs. This one, Midnight Purple. This one, like a deep blue. Um, before we get another look at these, this Payo is really cute. I love these things. Super cool. Damn, they're revving up that Supra. 86 and a 350Z. This Midnight Purple 33, super clean. Looks like it's on LM GT3 wheels. Or GT4. You can never tell. GT4's had the laser engraving, I think, right? This looks like a sticker. Fairly clean. They both look fairly clean, this one. The Midnight Purple always just looks cleaner to me than any other color. Really nice. This one's a V-Spec, though. It is. Interior matches up. No. Nah. Very cool. I like that. All right. 33s, man, they grow, they've been growing on me so much. I used to only be like, man, 34 GTR, 34 GTR, but I don't know, man. The 33s have just started doing things to me. All right. So the owner of Manaboon, he actually races a lot and does a lot of time attack stuff. So you'll probably see uh, a bunch of time attack themed cars, which are probably his personal ones. In fact, I think I've seen him racing this 35 at Scuba 2000 when Okachan was out there. This thing is completely kitted out, full race spec. Um, you can kind of see on the interior there, it's got all the special uh, like battery quick discon quick like shut off and all of this stuff installed and everything's caged and stripped out. Full Recaro bucket seats, OMP steering wheel. Very cool. But it's crazy because like even though this thing's been stripped out and fully caged and he races it, it still looks really modest. Other than the whole back's kind of got the exhaust staining from probably being too rich, but I would say it's been coated so you just need to clean it off. Big brake upgrade, well rotor upgrade at least. Nice canards, carbon fiber pieces. Very cool. I love how this still looks like fairly like modest, but it's like fully stripped out and caged. Very cool. There's 33. If you guys remember when we first came here, it's been over a year, I think, since we were last here. I thought this was a 400R and everyone slammed me in the comment section. <laughs> but yeah, Le Mans replica 33 GTR. This thing's super cool. And I wish I had 54 grand because I'd buy it. That's, that's the asking price for this thing. It's super unique and I just love the wide body look on it. Really is super cool. Nice brake kit too. It's insane how wide this thing is. Like the offset of these wheels. Good luck trying to find wheels for this. You'd have to get stuff custom made. But just look at how wide this thing is in the rear end. I really dig it. I really do. Don't ask me why, because I don't know, but I do. And everything's been molded in. The molding line actually looks pretty good from what I can see here. There's a few weird reflections there. They ignore that. That's not the molding line. These look like Ganadors. Very cool. I'm, I'm super jealous. And if you look through there, you can kind of see the RB26 covers there and the RB26 logo. Yeah, I really dig this. 
This would be such a cool car to own. So the problem with this one is uh, there's no real way to know how many kilometers it's actually done because its cluster was changed at some point. So that's one thing about Japan is a lot of clusters get changed or wound back. In fact, like I could literally call up someone and they could come to my house and in 15 minutes they'd have the, the odometer wound back for me. It's actually a huge issue in Japan. Um, so a lot of cars generally like just try to get as much real paperwork as you can on them to prevent yourself from getting something that's got a lot more mileage than it is because it's very well known that a lot of cars get their odometer wound back. And the way that they catch it is it doesn't match up with when it was last registered. Super clean 32 GTR here. This thing's nice. All original interior, still got the Sony um, a CD deck control unit where the drink holder is for some people. This thing's sick, that was a factory OEM option. It was like designed and molded to fit in there. This is clean. Nice bride's out of three seat in there. Nice BMW M3 E46. Look guys, I'm starting to learn my BMWs. Are you proud of me? I feel like you guys should be all patting me on the back right now. <laughs> nice S2K. All right, yeah, okay. Let's look at the pricing of these cars too, actually. Sorry about the wind noise, guys. There's not much I can do. So, that can't be right. Yeah, it is, okay. They're, they're a lot cheaper than I thought they would be. It's like 20 grand. Both of these cars are like, well, this one's a little bit under. But yeah, I don't know. I would have thought M3s would be worth a bit more money. I guess they're kind of old now, these ones, these E46s. But yeah, there you go. They're a lot cheaper than I thought. Crazy how like these used to be so much more expensive than these, but now these are like worth almost three times more than those. Um, so a lot of these cars in this line here, like this 33 GTR and then uh, this 32 GTR, these two I know are customers' cars. And this one is one that they are getting ready to, for, for listing. You can see 33 GTR, pretty clean, unmolested stock engine bay, epoxy air intake and stuff. Thing needs a bit of a clean, but overall looks pretty good. Pretty unmolested, which is good, is what you want to see. Um, but all these cars along here are all for sale. Some of them don't have pricing yet, like this guy. Um, is this, I can never tell if this is, uh, this has to be a CRX, right? Yeah, it is, okay. From the front, I always get confused. This thing's pretty nice though. Unfortunately, no price listing. Got another 33 GTR here with unfortunately no price. Um, we have this Nismo March, I think this one is. They want only like 7.8K for this. That's pretty clean. For a Nismo edition of a car, you'd think you'd be paying more than that. But yeah, under 10 grand for this guy. Then I guess you could call this like what, a G37? Infinity G-Wagon. Oh, 370 GT. This is technically a Skyline here. Um, and they want like 9.8K for that USD. Just roughly, I'm giving you USD pricing here because you can almost go like every 100 yen is roughly $1. So if I just take off two zeros, and even though it only has two numbers here, nine, eight, these symbols here represent like uh, like thousands of uh, it's extra zeros, these two symbols mean. So this one here is actually, it would be Kyuju, Kyuju Hachima which is 980,000 yen. So when you see these symbols, like that represents more zeros added to it, essentially. This 350Z, no pricing listed on there, which I honestly suspect has a lot to do with the current market and no one's really buying cars. So, I think they're just kind of like letting them sit and not in a rush to list them because of, you know, the, the current situation with the pandemic. I'm not going to lie, if I literally had the money for this, I'd probably be walk, like putting a deposit on this thing right away. This is so cool. It'd be so amazing if I could get that. Anyways. I've got this super epic looking 350Z. This thing looks like a party car. Obviously set up for time attack rather than grip. 
This one will be one of their shop cars, the owner's cars. No problem with wheel spaces over here. That's literally like 80 mil of spacer right there. Just to bring that out for the wide body. Front's got them as well. I think these have the 35 GTR brakes on them. They do. Look how close the caliper is to the outer inside edge of the wheel there. It's kind of crazy. But there you go. 35 GTR brakes on a 350Z. It's pretty huge. And this Supra, they're just about to list for sale too. They were just making a video on it. These guys actually have a YouTube channel as well. I'll put a link to their website in the description so you guys can find them. This is pretty cool. It's kind of like a two-tone. I'm liking the black roof and everything. Hang on. Is this an official Kansai service? Yo, it is. This thing's going to sell for a mint. And it's even got those super rare tail lights. This Supra is goals. Yeah, this is sick. Holy crap, guys, look at the interior. Do you want gauges on top of your gauges on top of gauges? That's a cockpit and a half. That's so cool. This is a very nice Supra. It's got a lot of, it's got a lot of things on there that are just kind of like, huh? But at the same time, very sick. Big brake upgrade too, that's like four grand in brakes. Genuine ORC brake kit. I haven't seen these in a long time. I think they stopped making brakes a while ago or if they do, just they're super expensive. I'm still running the TRD rears though. This thing's got some nice parts. I really like this rear end. The rear diffuser and the tail lights. I know it's not OEM, but I kind of dig it. What do you guys think? You a fan of those tails? I don't mind them. Pretty nice. And then this one's for sale too. This would be a super cool car for me to grab too. Fully wide body, GTR. It's kind of got this um, weird cross here with the fenders with like the Nismo Z tune, Z tune. And see how it's got this little like vent here, just like the 34s, but it's not. So maybe that's completely custom. This thing's set up for racing though and time attack. Bunch of canards. Dude, you'd literally slice someone's leg open if you clipped them at like Daikoku with that. Very cool. Everything stripped out in the rear. Full carbon fiber doors in case you didn't notice. This thing's sick. Whole bunch of stuff stripped out. Looks like sort of Pixie Power C. This is what I mean. Like these guys literally like they always find the weirdest, coolest stuff and sell it. <laughs> so... If you're looking for something heavily modified, I'd really get in contact with these guys. They do have people that speak English and help out with all that stuff. So this actually looks like it may have the 34 GTR transmission. From what I can see there, that may be the six speed shifter because it's got the, the pull up thing. Very cool. It's not quite midnight purple. I think it's definitely like it's been repainted obviously. It's a bit different than the OEM color. It looks really cool. I'd love to see under the hood but I don't want to push my luck too much. <laughs> These guys are pretty busy today moving stuff around and cleaning out the workshop, so I don't want to really put them out. Yeah, I don't know, I really dig this. Wayne game is definitely on point. Wifey would definitely love that. Look how wide that is. Looks like it's, a, it's built off a V-spec base too. It's still got the original uh, logo there, but it's on the carbon fiber trunk, so, or boot, that could actually just be a sticker. So many cool carbon fiber parts. I bet this thing hauls. Very sick. Yeah, I'm jealous of that. That's so cool, that wing. Just having a quick little sneaky beak in their workshop. You guys see that RB26 with that huge HKS T51R? Very cool and OG. Not entirely sure what's to go with this FD or this 33. They look a little bit like putts cars to me, so who knows? Got this thing here. This thing probably is a bit of a parts car too, or something they're going to completely fix up. Oh no, it's definitely parts car, it's missing an engine. This thing's pretty cool, it was an Arista, right? It's got some cool parts. That's the thing, like if you are got no transmission in there, 
if you're into building like cool cars and stuff like that you need to have like a few cars for parts and things like that or like if you need an engine from something and it sells at auction super cheap you can do a lot of like exchange and swap stuff out it's an interesting looking so um aristo though i nearly called it a sora for some reason i don't know why saving the most wanted out of everything in this car yard would probably be this 34 gtr bayside blue on some nice work wheels very well looked after super clean still got some oem pieces on here like these fender guards here very nice super stock and unmolested nice exhaust super sounds good nothing like a 2j except an RB. <laughs> this thing's clean. Very well looked after. No rips or tears whatsoever in the seats. I can't tell, is that V-spec interior because it's all black and it's not the gray? I think it is. Hard to tell though. I don't think it's a real V-spec. It doesn't have the, the rear diffuser. It does have the rear, the front lip though. That like bottom black one, I think. Uh, yeah, no, that was on the V-Spec, right? Hard to remember everything. Just looking at this Le Mans replica 33 and look at the detail, like even with the gas cap, like how much of an angle that is for that body line to follow all the way through here. Super cool, I love it. And like, it even has fiberglass like fender wells and stuff. Now, I have to say, if I was to ever own this, something like this, I would have to have it lower. <laughs> it's already really low, too. I just realized that. Damn. Look how low that is off the ground. Like, here's my van shoe. And look, if I kept pushing, it'd actually hit. That's insane. That thing's literally like 40 mil, 50 mil off the ground. That would scrape on everything. I think the only way to make this thing look good to fill the arches out with you need way bigger wheels like probably 19s 20s it's on 18s right now definitely need some like 19s in there and a little bit of a thicker profile meaty chunky tire cool i would love it if i could come back here and just like buy this outright one day i know it's probably gonna need a lot more work like to make the body like i'm sure there's rust on it somewhere and stuff like that i don't know but It'd be still cool to buy that. You guys already know me by now. I'm definitely the type of guy that likes buying a project, something that needs work, because I want to invest my time and effort into it and make it mine. So, I don't know. I'm sure you guys can appreciate that in some way or another. But anyways, I, I it kind of sucks that um, there's not really that many pricing cards on here to see what's going on. But like I, like I said, I really suspect that's just because of the pandemic and everything. No one's really looking to move cars right now because if you were to move cars right now, you'd most likely end up selling them at a cost and everyone just doesn't want to pay a lot of money. So I think it's probably wise that you just don't have those pricing cards in there and get people to come inside who are actually serious kind of thing. Like, I just feel like there'd be a lot of time wasters right now just because no one really wants to spend money. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed what we did get to check out today. Definitely some really unique cars. I, I really do like that uh, Le Mans GT, uh, replica GTR. I just like the aero on it. I know no one else makes that aero anymore. So it would be super, super cool to be able to somehow get my hands on that. Anything's possible. So many cars I want. I got problems. You guys know it. Every time I see a cool car, I'm like, I want it. <laughs> Anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna go jump back in the car and smash that like button, write us a comment, tell me what was your favorite car that we saw there today. And actually, I, I genuinely want you guys to tell me, did you like the rear end of that Supra? That one, I, I, know, I don't know, do people prefer the OEM look over something like that? I thought that was kind of unique and cool. So that guys, don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you in tomorrow's video. Uh, Summit merch, clearance sale, make sure you get yourself some merch. Peace out, Jamata.